Welcome to Carrie's Tutorials. I'm Simeon Grace. We are going to be making this beautiful blouse um, with handkerchief sleeves. So the first thing we need to do is to fold our fabric and we're going to be folding with the higher circumference measurement, which is the bust. The bust measurement I'm working with is 42 divided by 4 plus 2 is 12.5 inches. So we are going to be folding 12.5 inches. After that, the half length I'm working with is 18. So I'm just marking out the 18. Ammo length is 9 inches, while the underbust length is 15 inches. That's the, measure, the measurement I'm working with. Here, I'm going to be taking the shoulder divided by 2. Shoulder is 15 divided by 2 is 7.5, while my bust circumference will be taken below the 9 inches, and that will be 12.5 inches that we folded. Of course, our underbust circumference measurements will be taken below the underbust length, and that is 36 inches divided by 4 plus 2. So I can just connect my points. From the shoulder, I'm going to get an L shape to the bust, and at my angle 90, I'm taking 1 inch in order to get the MO shape. Also, we're going to get the center point of our hammer length. The hammer length is 9 inches, so the center is 4.5 inches. I'll come in by 0 0.5 from the arm O line so that we can have a new um a new arm O. The reason I'm coming by I'm coming in by 0 0.5 is so that I will not have any bulge at the arm O area of my blouse. So now we are done cutting it out. We're going to be placing the back. This is going to be the back fabric, and we're going to be placing it on another fabric to get I mean to cut out the front, but this time around we'll had extra two inches since the zipper is at the front so add extra two inches to your folding and then bring out the shape that you have here i'm taking out one inch on the back piece the center part of the back piece and i'm going to slant to the edge of um the side just like this the reason is i do not want any bulge at the zipper area of my blouse now that that is done, the front piece, I'm trying to notch out um, from the extra two inches. I'm trying to notch it out, notch it away from the two inches. Working on the back piece, the neckline I'm working with is three inches width and the depth is 1.5 inches. So I'm going to connect my neckline like this. And on the arm hole, I'm going to take one inch for the shoulder slant. So I'm going to connect from the neckline. So let's cut it out. First, the neckline. And then the shoulder slant to the one inch. All right, that's th that has been done. Now, on the front piece, first I'm folding in the two inches that was added. And then I can bring out my neckline, which is four inches depth and the width of three inches. So you can you can actually bring out a neckline of your choice and on the fabric i mean the style it has a bishop um color but this is not going to have a bishop color so in case you want to have your bishop color the neckline should be the width of 2.5 and the depth of three inches all right so still folding our uh, two inches we are going to measure out the the princess that of four inches are princess that so i'm taking out my four inches that measurement and um on the ham hole i'm measuring out four inches from the four inches i'll take one inch while first you need to get the underboss length which is 15 inches and from my underboss to the nipple point is four inches you can measure to get yours now what i'm going to be doing is i'll take um from the four inches you're going to connect a princess that line so here's our princess that now from the from the princess that line at the base i'm taking 1.5 inches 1.5 inches and it stops at the on the bust while on the nipple point i'll take 0 0.5 inches and of course on the ham hole it's one inch so i'm connecting from my one inch to the 0 0.5 then from the 0 0.5 to the under bust, which is the 1.5 inches. Now, at the under bust, again, I'm taking 0 0.25 to connect 
and on the other line that's the princess that line i'm going in again by 0 0.25 in order to give our bustier that full effect on the bust area of the of our blouse that's the reason i'm coming in by that um 0 0.25 0 0.25 is enough so you can cut out your lines just like this and of course we are done cutting out the princess that bust here so that has been done now we can cut out the wording we can cut out our lining for the front now on the back we are measuring out our princess that only a, a princess that so i'm taking my measurement of four inches and of course my four inches from the arm o and then i'll connect my princess that line so for the front piece we are cutting out wording for the fabric and for our lining i am using um a paper stay and then on the back i'm using paper stay for the fabric and also paper stay for the lining you can use what um stay if you like to cut out the flare our 720 degree flare we have the waist divided by two that's 19 inches and 25 inches is the full length so we already cut out 18 inches for the half length we have seven inches left but here i am going to measure eight inches because of our seam allowance so folding my full flare i have a tutorial on how to cut different types of flakes really going to be helpful if you're uh if you need to cut this there are different types of flare that i have uploaded from 90 degree to 1440 and the likes so now um it's going to be a 19 inches divided by eight since we are cutting out a 720 degree flare so the measurement here and of course i have the length of eight inches which i am going to mark out so now let's cut this is um 1360 degree flare we are also going to cut out the second 360 degree flare to give us 720 degree flare so all you need to do is just place your flare on another fabric place it on a fabric and then you can cut it out this is a good time for you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed and um, you also need to turn on your notification bell of course you need to open it up since you're going to be joining the two to give us a 720 degree flare and if you have um questions you can leave that in the comment section if there's anything that you do not understand in the video you can play back to have a better understanding so this is me um, cutting out my basic sleeve if you need me to make tutorials on different types of sleeves or how to cut your basic sleeve you know your shirts the ricotta long long sleeve and that you can leave that in the comment section as well so i can make tutorial on how to cut basic sleeve all right so here is my basic sleeve the the um round sleeve measurement is what i'm taking out and of course i can cut it out so from here we're going to be cutting out uh handkerchief um flare so this is one of the sleeve i am also going to place this to cut the other sleeve moving to the handkerchief flare you need to get the length that you need now one thing is you have to fold equal measurements so i am taking 11 inches length so if i have 11 inches on the horizontal part and of course the vertical angle i have 11 inches as well so this is me taking out the 11 inches depending on the length of the handkerchief flare that you want to do so you can take the full length after that we are going to take the round sleeve measurement divided by four this is divided by four a round sleeve measurement divided by four and like i said the different types of flare video will help you to uh, measure out 
your flare perfectly so you, you can just check it out how to watch i mean how to cut um different types of flare so this is one of the handkerchief flare i'll just move on to cut to place it on another fabric in order to get the other part like i said if you are here to subscribe to the channel do so now until i see you again next time i still remain simeon grace bye